over the last couple of days i've been watching some random old movies and for some reason i don't know why maybe because i saw something on the internet maybe because i heard someone's mention on the podcast but i randomly downloaded rambo first blood i'm sure most of you have watched rambo first blood in the past but i randomly watched it the other day and i have to admit i've spent a long time since i watched it it's a really really good movie Rambo First Blood might be the best of the Rambo series, to be honest. I remember the first one I actually watched. I forgot which one it was. The one where he's in the cave and he ends up putting the gunpowder in the fucking wound he has, right? I think he gets shot with the arrow and he ends up pouring the fucking gunpowder from the bullet in there and he lights it up and stuff. That iconic um, scene. I think that was the first one I actually watched. But I actually went back to watch the first one and it's really good. Okay, that's number three, Chris Mack is saying. The one with the, with the gunpowder is number three. So I remember watching number three first i didn't watch them in chronicle chronological order when i was younger i watched three first and then i watched the others but we watching it again even though i thought number one was quite slow when i first watched it number one the original one first blood is actually the best one because it essentially depicts this like guy that's just come back from vietnam he's a little bit um perturbed by what happened over there most of you guys know about the history of the war in vietnam and you know the fucking you know um all of the fallout um around that similar to what happened with the war in afghanistan um he comes back to his country and he's not a hero right because of all of these images these distressing and horrible images of like villages and innocent people getting blown up and kids and stuff whatever it may be were being trans were being kind of broadcast over to the states and there was a big liberal movement happening obviously there at the time as well and he was getting harangued by people he was essentially like an outcast and he ends up being you know kind of basically trying to um he ends up basically trying to um acclimatize or settle himself in in this town that he's in and he basically gets told to leave a police officer basically picks him up and takes him out of the city limits and tells him to get on the next train like says hey you're not wanted around here you're a vagabond we don't need your type he's a war hero right you'd imagine like he fought for his country you imagine he's gonna get the red carpet treatment but that doesn't happen they just see him as a lover vagabond they see him as another troublemaker they just see him as somebody that has no use for society even though he put his life on the line he lost his brothers his sisters out there and fighting for his country fighting for his flag fighting for freedom fighting for <laughs> whatever he was fighting for and he comes back to his country and he realizes that it was all for nothing because everybody just sees him as a monster as a machine right as a killer and he has to flip in you know adjust to that reality and then he also gets back and he sees these like layabout cops in this small town who don't really do much right who are basically lording or trying to lord their you know authority over him and trying to treat him like he's less than and he just snaps it's sort of like a civil it's sort of like a a depiction of civil unrest but it's sort of like beamed through this one person right it's civil it's civil unrest it's civil disobedience but it's been through this one person's prism and i absolutely love it i swear to god i really 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 enjoyed it watching it and the funny thing is the really sad thing about it is nowadays no one will make a movie like rambo nowadays it wouldn't exist you know because obviously there's a lot of like violence against police right there's a lot of quote unquote police brutality but not in the way that you think um and obviously a lot of kind of you know untoward destruction um crazy amounts of it so most likely and of, and of course the messaging around it also would be a little bit dicey no one would make this type of movie nowadays the only thing i can think of that's similar that's meant to be coming out soon is the movie by the studio a24 the one that did midsummer and a few other big releases they've got a movie coming out called i think civil war or something um and that should be pretty good um and that looks quite good in terms of you know it's basically depicting there's american civil war going on and for some reason um i think it's maybe just you know maybe around the idea of the culture war happening at the moment in the united states and so far judging by the trailer that looks like that could be a fun movie but again will they really go pedal to the metal will they really push it will they really be talking about interesting things interesting themes will they really be talking about interesting policies worldviews or will it just be like a cookie cutter you know where wokey type of kumbaya type of shit because i feel like rambo um first blood works because it does what it says on the tin and it's unapologetic with how it depicts how you know soldiers um would have basically felt around that time coming back from the war in vietnam it does it in a really good way and um, without sugarcoating it 
um, without making anybody to because really and truly Rambo isn't really a hero right he goes around basically destroying this small town for the sake of his what his pride and his ego right because he gets told to leave because he's not allowed to go get some breakfast or something he basically destroyed he basically decides to destroy the whole entire town and then inadvertently through the process of him trying to escape or trying to you know trying to be free he also you know through his actions he doesn't does directly but a couple of cops die as well off the back of his basic actions and shit so you know no one really comes out of it smelling like roses but it is really a good depiction of what does happen in real life when you push a man too much when you push a man to his limit when you push a man to the point where he feels like he has no other retort he has no other way to go that's what happens and maybe the pushing thing as well nowadays couldn't work because it might be a little bit of a mantra or it might be a little bit of a of a manifesto for like a um, um uh, what do you call it a uh, mass murder and stuff you know the guys that do like shootings and shopping malls and stuff this might be one of those type of things so maybe that's why they wouldn't do it because it is a little bit like that right it's about this idea about this guy that's like been a, he's a social outcast and now he's been pushed right he keeps getting pushed he keeps getting prodded he keeps getting um provoked and then he snaps you know that's probably what's happening there a little bit it feels like so maybe they wouldn't want to do it because they wouldn't want to send out that message that they are flopping you know um promoting that sort of idea and stuff so maybe that's the right reason who knows who knows but either way really enjoyed it rambo first blood absolutely amazing and um, again you know limited special effects just really good storytelling amazing cinematography great acting there's not even that much dialogue in it right it feels very kind of like um you know it feels like there's a lot of pauses there's a lot of you know kind of just reflections there's a lot of like stuff said with subtleties and movements and mm, ah, ah, whatever it may be you know rambo is a man of few words in this flipping movie as well so i love everything about it i'm not gonna lie i love everything about it so rambo first blood check it out if you haven't already i'm sure most of you have 